Ooh, I don't like this, but it was expected. It's something that we've been talking about uh, for a very long time on this channel, a conversation that we've had uh, for a while over the past couple of months just due to the uh, our expectations um, and what we've seen from the Baltimore Ravens when it's come to Miles Boykin. Uh, but before we get into it, let's read this report from Jason Lockenfora. Uh, it says executives from multiple teams tell me that the Ravens are seeking to deal wide receiver Miles Boykin. A third round pick in 2019. Uh, need cap space and have drafted a slew of wide receivers in recent years. Boykin is fully healed from his freak weight room finger injury from 2021. He had an excellent combine and strong metrics. A deal is likely. Stuff like this, it doesn't float around like this if it's not true. Now, um, what I would expect to happen uh, is that the Ravens, they probably deal Miles Boykin for like, uh, probably like a fifth or sixth round pick. Um, and if they can't get a deal for him, then they're going to unfortunately release him. Uh, and this is, uh, it sucks because... It's, it's something that you saw coming. I, I honestly, I remember last year, last offseason, I thought it was going to happen because, you know, he had the hamstring injury, he wasn't practicing, and well, obviously wasn't playing. So I was thinking, oh, boy, Ravens about to IR him. But they didn't. They kept him on the roster. I was like, all right, cool. Maybe he'll get a shot. Maybe, maybe, hopefully. But it just, it never worked out. Uh, it never worked out. And this, uh, actually, in my opinion, this would be for the best. This would be for the best for both sides because, Ravens, they're not going to use Miles Boykin. He's, he's not going to get used. He's not going to get incorporated in the game plan. Lamar's not going to throw to him. They are not going to use Miles Boykin. They're not going to switch him to tight end. They're not, they're not going to do anything with Miles Boykin. We saw that last year. He got hurt first. He had a hamstring, and then he had the finger injury last year. And then he came back, and I think he, he, got, he was on the field for like one or two offensive snaps, some crazy low like that. Uh, but the rest was just pure special teams. That was it. That was it. So it's like the uh, the writing was already on the wall. It was on the wall, and, and we all kind of saw it coming. Me, personally, I hoped it wasn't on the way, but we kind of saw it coming. Uh, so it is no, like, shock or surprise or anything like that. Uh, with Miles Boykin, a fresh start would be great. A fresh start would be good. A fresh start where he could really get an opportunity. I think he should go to Atlanta. I think he should go to the Falcons. I think the Ravens should come up with a deal to where they send him to Atlanta. The reason being because these Falcons, they getting ready to lose Hayden Hurst. These Falcons, they just lost Calvin Ridley for this year. Uh, these Falcons, they obviously didn't have Julio Jones all this year. They traded him away. But why not? Why not? What is the worst that could happen if you bring on a Miles Boykin? Big body receiver, you passing team, you're going to get him the ball. Why not? So I'm starting a campaign. Boykin to ATL. If he's going to go anywhere, I, I want him to go to ATL. But really, I just straight up just want him to get a shot. I want him to get a shot because I'm so tired of when it comes to the Ravens and it comes to wide receivers with the Ravens, we just, we, we get stuck in this cluster, this cluster to where it's like, man, a lot of Ravens fans be like, man, that guy, he was sorry. What a sorry wide receiver. Oh, that wide receiver ain't no good. Oh, that wide receiver, he's garbage. But the Ravens, they never showed you that wide receiver's true potential. It just doesn't happen that often. Now, we've, of course, had the conversation about how not many wide receivers make it out of the Ravens. Not many. There was Mark Clayton with the Rams. There was Brashad Perryman with the Browns and the Bucks and the Jets uh, and the Lions, too. Uh, there was Torrey Smith with the, the Panthers, the, the Eagles, uh, the 49ers. Um, so there were a few. There was Brandon Stokely. With, he played for like 20 teams after he played for the Ravens. Then he came back. But And then, of course, there's Darren Waller, even though he was a tight end. But when you look at that list, those guys... What is that? What do we name? Like five people? And there may be some. Well, there actually may not be some more. But we name like five people. And then you look at the list of the receivers that the Ravens drafted. Look at the, all the ones that they drafted. And then you're like, oh, whoa. Like, wow. Oh. Like, did we really miss that bad? 
Or was it a lack of development? Was it a lack of playing time? What was the problem? What was the issue? So I just hope, like I said, I hope he gets a chance. I hope he gets an opportunity uh, elsewhere to where he can really show his stuff. We look at Pittsburgh. You look at Chase Claypool. Can he play? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to be number two to Miles Boykin. He used to be the number two to Miles Boykin. And it's like, but but really? He used to be the number two to Boy. Oh, but Boykin on the Ravens. Oh, whoa, what happened? What changed? What's different? So, again, no surprise. I, I hope the best for Boykin. Shout out to Boykin. Y'all know that's my guy. Y'all know I'll be rocking with Boykin, man. I'm rocking with Boykin and, and hoping that he goes somewhere and he does his thing and gets some real opportunity, real chance. But so hopefully that's whether it's the Falcons or wherever else it ends up happening, he's gonna get his opportunity. He's gonna get picked up for sure. For sure. Um, just where it is, we'll see in a matter of time. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Uh just like Miles Boykin is gonna be sooner. Yeah, very soon. Because the new league year starts on Monday. Well, yeah, it don't start on Monday technically, but it starts on Monday. But just like Miles Boykin is gonna be pretty soon, we out.